Hi there, that's Sakimura here. Last week I have explained that resource owner password credential grant type is just for backward compatibility. After posting it, I got a comment that since it is in the old spec, it should be allowed to use it after all. Well, is it? Let's check it out. Resource owner password credential grant is written in RFC 6749. That's true. But the same spec writes this. The authorization server client should minimize use of this grant type and utilize other grant types whenever possible. In short, this saying Don't use it. But why is it written there? Well, it's because there's one use case where it is very useful. That's when you want to migrate your legacy client that stores the password to auth. Such legacy clients indeed stores the password. When you provide a new version of the client that supports auth, what you can do is to use resource owner password credential grant to take the stored password and send it to convert to auth tokens. That way, user is migrated from the password storing legacy client to a modern auth client silent. It's a zero friction migration. In addition, there's no user interface to input the username and password, so it doesn't train the users to be phished. So here's the implementation guidance. If you have a legacy app that stores password, then step one. Use ROPC grant type to migrate password to all access tokens and delete passwords. And step 2. Use other grant types for any subsequent calls. If your app is new or your legacy app doesn't store passwords, then there's only one step. Use other or grant types to start with and do not use ROPC. That was 2 minutes. Hopefully this was useful to you. Before you go, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. See you next week.